Hi, hello, it's me Angie and I'm coming at you with a Q&A video. So, uh, usually I would use my, usually, first q and I'm ever doing. Um, I had planned to use my phone to record, uh, to have the questions, but then I realized I used my phone to record. So I have them on my computer, right here. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, first question. Favorite TV show uh, of all time? Ooh. Favorite TV show of all time? I think I'm gonna have to go with That's So Raven. I could watch That's So Raven over and over and over again. That and I Love Lucy. I really love I Love Lucy. And, uh, which, if any, fandoms do you belong to? I don't know. Not regarding TV shows. K-pop. I could do a K-pop Q&A if you guys want me to. And you could send me a whole bunch of, uh, questions on that that'll answer that could be like a three day long video um so yeah fandoms for i guess regular tv that don't involve k-pop i don't really have one i don't think so not that i know of so yeah next question uh favorite lipstick color and product uh my favorite product right now and for the moment will kind of always is is my um urban decay primer potion my friend got that for me a couple of years ago and i still have some left like a lot goes oh sorry a little goes a lot blah, blah, blah. a little goes a long way um favorite lipstick color has to be red i could wear red lipstick all day every day for the rest of my life and i'd be happy uh Grape or cherry flavor? I don't really like cherries that much, so grape flavor? Grape flavored everything, basically. If it was between cherry and grape, grape. All right. Chocolate milk or hot chocolate? Chocolate milk. I am, I don't wanna say I'm impatient, but like, I don't like to wait. You gotta pour the hot chocolate, wait for it to cool down, and then you gotta sit there and it's like, Ugh, I just wanna drink my drink. If I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty now, not in 25 minutes, you know? So, chocolate milk for sure. Okay. <laughs> if you had to choose between skydiving or bungee jumping, which one would you participate in? Neither. I don't do heights. I am not willingly jumping out of a plane. And I am not willingly jumping off a bridge. So, like, neither? What's your favorite thing uh, Favorite thing about Christmas and why? Bruh, I could go on forever about this question. Um, I love Christmas just because <coughs> it's my favorite holiday. You know, everyone gets together, everyone's so happy. The Christmas, mu uh, Christmas music I can listen to all year round, but then I annoy people, so then I don't do it. Um, Christmas movies, just like the whole holiday. It's like, it brings people together. Like... You could be fighting with someone, but then Christmas comes along and you start going to their house to like, you know, Christmas dinner and things like that. Um, I really love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. It's my favorite thing about Christmas. Uh, everything. Um, just growing up, Christmas in our house was always just like a really big thing. Like the Christmas tree, the lights outside, everything. It was just like such a big holiday. And um, I find I'm more into it now than my mom is. Because she's all like, I don't want to put up the tree. So I put it up myself. I don't want to put up decorations. So I put it up myself. So I don't know. I just, I love Christmas. Christmas is like the best day ever. I wish Christmas could be every day. Because then everyone would just be happy every day. Actually, they'd be broke every day. Hmm. Maybe not. Christmas once a, one day a year is good, you know. Yeah, next question. Sorry about that. The phone rang. Uh, favorite comfort food? Uh, I'm going to have to say... Oh, I don't know. I eat a lot, clearly. I mean... Uh, I don't know. Favorite comfort food? Ooh. I don't know. Anything to do with meat. Unless you mean snack food, then I'd have to say gummies. I love gummies. Oh. My favorite is like the Swedish fish. I love Swedish fish. Those are the freaking best. That and fuzzy peaches. I could eat those all day and then get cavities and then, you know, get all my teeth pulled out. But anyway, <laughs> next question. Favorite flavor of ice cream. I, it has to be um, cookie dough. I can eat cookie dough ice cream all the time. I love cookie dough ice cream. It's my favorite. Like, 
of all time. It used to be cookies and cream, and then I found cookie dough, and then I was like, what's cookies and cream? So. Mm. Okay, so would I prefer it snowing, or would I prefer it cold? I prefer it snowing, because when it snows, it's not always cold, you know what I mean? Like if it's just snowing and it's like a light snow, it's beautiful. I love snow. It's not a lot of it because then it causes all the traffic and crap and blah, blah, blah. But if it was between snow and cold, snow. Top three favorite Disney movies. Oh, only three. Uh, number one, Lilo and Stitch. I love me some Lilo and Stitch. Uh, is the Aristocrats? Aristocats. Is it Kratz or Cats? The Aristic, Aristic cat, Kratz, Cats, the one with the cats in it. Um, and third one, ooh, hmm. Oh, I don't know. Lilo and Stitch, Aristic Cats, Kratz, whatever it's called, and. Oh, wait, that's not a Disney movie. I'll go with Moana. I really like Moana. I enjoyed Moana. I saw it like three times. Okay, top t five Christmas movies. The Grinch, number one. I go watch The Grinch all the time. Me and my mom love The Grinch. Um, I don't think I like any other Christmas movies. Damn. The Grinch, The Grinch, The Grinch. Ooh, um, the one with Ebenezer Scrooge in it. Whoa, what's that one called? I don't think I really, I don't thoroughly, like, I hate Home Alone. Can't stand it at all. I hate Elf. It's so dumb. And then, like, what are the classical, classical, classic Christmas movies are there? That I've seen, that I watch. Hmm. Like, they have a lot of those uh, Christmas movies on, like, the W Channel and, like, Lifetime and stuff. Those kind of movies. Those ones are good, but I can't, like, pinpoint my favorite one. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So I really only have two. The Grinch and Ebenezer Scrooge. Hmm. Okay. All right. Favorite. The top favorite Christmas songs. Number one, All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Tops everything. Um, ooh. Oh, Hallelujah by Pentatonix. Love that one. Guys, this is going to be a long video. I just realized. Damn. Um, so what I say? I said All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. And then Pentatonix Hallelujah, which I didn't realize was a Christmas song, but like it's on their Christmas album, so I guess it is. Um, ooh. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I don't know the name of that song, but uh, Sam Smith singing it. Oh my God, like brings shivers to my spine. Uh, Ariana Grande's, oh, what's that song called? Damn, I am so bad at naming things. Um, you know what I'll put it in the thing? How many is that? Oh my god. I think that's four. I don't know, not a last one. Hmm. Oh, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree by whoever. I like that one. Okay. Next question. Who is my favorite... Staff member at work, Donna. If you know who Donna is, <laughs> Donna. If you don't, you're missing out. Wonderful woman. Okay, so what's my type qualities I look for in a guy? You have to be educated in some kind of way. A smart guy is like so nice. Um, you must be funny, cause I like I crack myself up. So like, you better be cracking me up too. So smart, funny can cook because <laughs> I like to eat and I like to cook so if we could cook together oh yes um I like tall guys well taller than me I'm five six and a half aka five seven on a good day so if you're taller than me 
It's nice, because when you, when you have a nice tall guy, you give him a hug, it's all warm and cozy and wonderful. And I mean, I got the big clavage, so I don't need someone shorter than me, so that when I hug them, they're all up in the clavage. That's not a, not gonna happen, no. Uh, what's my star sign? I am an Aries. I am born on April, April 3rd to be exact, 1993. Oh, it's a good year. I came into the world. Make everyone's lives miserable. <laughs> uh, ideal travel destination, two places. Either Hawaii, because they got pineapple and ham, and hello, Lilo and Stitch. Oh, and the beach. And then Korea, because I just really want to go to Korea. It looks like an amazing place to visit. Also, Thailand looks like a really cool place to visit. Very tropical-like. Yeah. Next question. Okay, what would I rather uh, be able to speak to animals or be able to speak every language in the world? I'm pretty sure my cat is like the incarnate of Satan, so I would rather not know what he's trying to tell me and think, but um, knowing every language in the world would be awesome like you could literally go anywhere and you would be able to conversate with everybody so that'd be cool okay would i rather explore space or the deep ocean um i mean like the deep ocean like the abyss i'm always telling the kids like oh where did so and so go into the abyss i don't want to actually go to the abyss the abyss is the darkest deepest part of the ocean and it seems like it's scary and God knows what's down there, so... Uh, but then I would also not want to go into space. Because then that's just darkness also. I'm not good in the dark. I don't like darkness. It scares me. Um, but traveling space would be pretty cool. Like, seeing all the planets and stuff. And seeing Earth be, like, this big, even though we know it's, like, huge. That'd be cool. So, yeah. Boxers or briefs? I, uh, wear neither. But on a man, briefs are nice, you know, form the capation of the behind. I love a nice guy with a big butt. It's wonderful. So, briefs. Uh, why are cats so evil? Because they can be. Honestly, like, I look at my cat sometimes as he's doing the stupidest, weirdest things that he knows is not supposed to be what he's doing or is putting him in danger and he's like, I'm going to do it. Uh, I don't know why cats are so evil. I, I don't know. They just are. They're born that way. Well, at least mine was. Do I speak any other languages? Uh, yes and no. I know like six or seven words in Spanish. I know a couple of phrases in Korean because I'm learning because I want to go teach English in Korea. Uh, French and I have a hate-love relationship as in I hate it and it hates me. But it's such a beautiful language, so I love it. Uh, no. Um, I don't know, like, I could speak French, but my pronunciation is horrible, so I just kind of avoid, like, speaking it. Uh, what do I enjoy doing in my free time? I am obsessed with The Sims 4. Um, I literally play every day, sometimes for hours, and it's like, damn, I should be doing other things in my life other than playing the sims game um i love going to the movies i love shopping when i have money chilling on the computer <laughs> looking at youtube videos uh cooking baking eating i like trying new restaurants and stuff it's good to explore you know not have the same thing all the time uh, da -da -da -da. how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood, he would chuck as much wood as he wanted to chuck. Next question. Do I consider myself a creative person? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm creative. I come up with different things in my head and... Like, I, I try. Being a creative person in what kind of sense, though? Like, I can't... Hmm. Hmm. I'm creative. I think of different ways of doing things. Most of the time, it just makes it more complicated. Sometimes it makes it easier, but, um, yeah, I'm a creative person. Name one of my biggest fears. Dying. Ooh. That is literally my biggest fear is, like, dying and just, like, 
being nothing around that like creeps me out. Um, fucking hate spiders. Oh, I hate spiders. That and snakes. Oh, and dying alone. Dying alone is worse than dying. It's like, my God. Imagine, like, I feel bad for people who have no one, like, no children, no, um, husband, no wife, no friends, no family, like, that, like, dying alone, that must be, like, so scary. Oh, I don't want to talk about the next question. Oh, no, 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 no. Da -da 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 -da. What do I love about the Korean culture? Um, hold on, what's that last question? Uh, well, that is the last question. Um, what do I like about Korean culture? Uh, like there are so many things, just, I don't know, I just find the whole culture itself very interesting, whether it be like the language, the way they write, like they don't use like, I guess letters, they use symbols, and I find that really, really interesting. Um, the food. Like, just the way that in Korea they do things, well, in Asia in general, they do things, like, a lot differently than they do in North America and stuff. But, um, the language really intrigues me, the food really intrigues me, the culture itself, whether it be music or art or fashion, like, Korea has, like, some of the weirdest but most interesting and, like, really cool fashion. You guys should try, like, check it out like their fashion um, culture itself. Like that's really, really cool. It's very individualized. It's very unique. That's the word I was looking for. Um, what else? I just kind of love Korea all together. Like their um, thoughts on family, like everyone will, from what I've known and like from people I've talked to who've been to Korea and Korea or are Korean say like their family is just kind of like you don't leave your family like in North America like you hit 18 you get a job you're gone you're done like you're off into the world by yourself in Korea on the other hand like you stay living with your parents until you're married and like your grandparents live with you like everyone's just like very family oriented from what I have um seen and talk to people about i mean i could be completely wrong you know i haven't been to korea to like witness all these things but um that's just cool like i'm very big on family like family is very very important to me so just to know that like other cultures feel the same way like i still live at home my brother still lives at home we're not leaving anytime soon i'm gonna be here forever <laughs> but it's nice like you know you're you don't have to worry about rent and things like that you can just focus on school and things like that and work and not have to worry about rent it's nice to have your family around you know i definitely want to learn a lot more about it for sure because i mean k-pop and k-dramas and things and fashion is not the culture of korea it's just like a small part of it i want to learn like all of it and their history, like, you know, how well with North Korea and things like that. Like, I want to learn more about that kind of stuff. Because I just, it finds interesting to me. But, uh, yeah. I hope those, that answered your question or questions. There were a lot of them. But, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's really long and I didn't do it very well. But I don't do videos very well anyway. But, yeah. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in another video. Bye.